As a storm chaser, I can roll up on a supercell and assess its tornado potential very quickly based on what I'm seeing visually. In this video, I'm going to share three of the top things I scan for when judging a storm's tornadic potential, well before any tornado becomes imminent. The first thing I examine is the visual inspection of the cloud base height. How high is that updraft base off the ground? I made a dedicated video about this concept, but there's a critical threshold where a storm simply becomes too high base to produce anything significant from its mesocyclone. This happens because the surface base lift and convergence, essential ingredients for tornado genesis, becomes too disconnected from the mid-level rotation when the base is too high. In this example, this storm's base is quite low and primed for tornadic development. While in this contrasting example, this storm is actually very high based and poses minimal tornado threat despite having decent structure aloft. Second, is there evidence this storm is actively ingesting surface-based air parcels at this time? I'm not going to dive into my pet peeve about people misusing elevated versus surface-based terminology. That's another discussion entirely. What I'm assessing is whether we're looking at a storm that's actively pulling surface air parcels into its updraft core. A couple of key visual indicators to in look at this include scud material rising up into the storm space, like in this shot. This shows active low level convergence and moisture transport. Another telltale sign is a well-defined wall cloud with visible rising motion from the surface feeding directly into it. The latter scenario suggests much more imminent tornado potential than the former, though both of these storms eventually went on to produce tornadoes. Third is analyzing any lowering beneath the updraft base. First, we need to properly identify if the lowering qualifies as a true wall cloud. There's a helpful video on that distinction popping up right now. Assuming we're looking at a legitimate wall cloud, I monitor for two classic signs of increasing tornado potential. First, if the wall cloud is sticking around for more than a few minutes, and second, if the rotation is intensifying over time. Most supercells will develop lowerings at various points in their life cycle, but it's these specific lowerings with sustained tightening rotation that signal real tornadic potential. This happens because the mesocyclone is successively concentrating angular momentum at lower levels, exactly what's needed for tornado genesis. A bonus indicator I watch for is that rear flank downdraft clear slot working around the lowered area. When I see that RFD surge wrapping around an actively rotating wall cloud, my assessment shifts from possible tornado to tornado imminent. This clear slot represents descending dry air that helps tighten the low level circulation by creating a more focused downdraft updraft interface. While this doesn't guarantee tornado production, it's certainly the sequence that precedes many significant tornadoes. 